by the end of this tutorial, you should have an app that's able to choose colors and change the properties of different items on your screen. Hope you're looking forward to it. Stay tuned. Hello and welcome to another Thunkable tutorial. In this one, we're going to learn all about lists and we're going to introduce the list picker component. Uh, this is part of a longer series, so what we're going to do is introduce the list picker, the list view, and the uh, spinner as well. Let's get started by creating a new app called List Picker, like so. And when this loads up, it's going to be a very simple, very minimal user interface. Uh, what I'm going to do is align everything into the center of my screen. I'm going to leave all the app name, background color, all of that's going to be the same. I'm going to get rid of the status bar for a moment, and I'll just change out the title here to say List Picker, like so. The only component we want for today is the List Picker itself. Um, we can make this font a little bit bigger, I think, uh, like so, and then we'll change the text for the moment. So you saw earlier we're going to create a color picking app or a color choosing app, so we'll say choose uh, choose a color like that and the text is going to appear there in our designer uh, so let's test this out I'm using the uh, live testing I've got it up and running already in my other tab here if I click on my list picker it opens up an empty list picker so there's nothing in this um, list picker just yet how do we go and add items how do we add elements to our list picker well it's this property up at the very top that says elements from string. So we'll start by putting in the words that we want to appear, like so. And then um, what we can do is test that out again because we're live testing. Uh, so we can see all three of those uh, words appear, but because we haven't written any code, nothing appears on the screen or no colors change. So first of all, let's jump into our blocks and let's figure out which event we want. So there's a few different ones to choose from here. The most important one for our tutorial today is after picking. So this is the event that fires, or this is the event that happens when the user clicks on one of the elements in the uh, list picker. As we usually do, we're going to change the title so we can display some text. And the text that we want to display is one of the words. So the property that does that, or the getter that does that, is list picker one dot selection. So whatever word the user clicks on, that's what's going to appear in the top of the screen. So clicking on red shows me the word red and so on all the way through this list. Okay, that's great. So that's a nice um, user interface. We're able to see the correct words, but how do we go about changing colors? To do that, we're going to need to create what's called a parallel list. So two lists that are side by side uh, list of uh, colors, uh, two lists that are side by side and that um, kind of line up with one another. So we'll see a little bit more in a second. So when we create this list, we are going to create an empty list and we're going to add items to this list when the screen loads like this. So we use the add items to list block in here. The list that we're going to add our items to, we've only got one in our code, it's called list of colors. Uh, the first thing we want to do is add in red. So we want the items, the um, order of the items, to line up or be in parallel with, this is why they're parallel lists, the um, words and the colors. So the first one should be red. The second one then, if you click on the actual color itself, you can get this little palette, so duplicate, click on the orange here, we'll get some yellow here like that. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go back into our lists and there's a block in here that allows us to look up an item in a different list. So select list item. So what we can do here is we can use not the selection, but the selection index. So that's um, one, two or three in our case. And we're going to duplicate this one here. So when we test this out, this should be able to change the different colors. Okay, so I haven't refreshed my app. That's one of the maybe pitfalls of live testing. So choose a color. Let's just make a small change here. Let's make that font slightly bigger. Everything goes back to the beginning. So now red. Um, I'm changing the title. Okay, so this is the joys here of uh, live testing. So the not the title, but the title bar color like this. So now let's try again. Let's choose red. And we've got red, yellow, 
orange, they're all working. Uh, so I can go back, let's refresh this again. Let's uh, change that. What was my title originally? It was list picker, wasn't it? Yeah. Like that, okay, great. Um, now, the next thing we can do then is change the uh, background color of the list picker itself. So let's uh, pop that in there. Okay, and let's see what happens here. So if we choose a color, everything changes, like so. And the really nice uh, thing then about this is that it's very uh, easy to scale. It's very easy to add items to. So I can go back into my designer. Um, we can add in green, for instance, like that. Again, that updates my design. Uh, I should have done that second. I'm going to have to do it again now. Then we could add in another color here. Duplicate that. Go for green, let's say, and um, choose a color. Let's make this back to 20. Okay. So uh, now what we have are four colors on our list. We've got green, that works. Yellow, everything else works exactly as normal. So that's it for this tutorial. I uh, really hope you enjoyed learning about the list picker and this brief introduction to lists and parallel lists. Um, Thank you very much to everybody that's subscribed. If you want to see more, don't forget to click subscribe and like. And if you've got any questions at all, uh, please leave them in the comments section below and I'll do my best to get an answer for you. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.